So what I'm going to do this week is jump back in with another Ashes of Creation video and I'm going to give a full overview and roundup of the profession fishing in Ashes of Creation. Fishing in Ashes of Creation is definitely going to be a lot different than other games and if you've never really got involved in fishing and it's not your thing and you kind of don't really like that PvE aspect of this part of some MMOs, I do believe in Ashes you're going to definitely want to get involved and you might actually like it a bit more but without rambling on any further I'll just jump right into the video and get a monster all now. So what is fishing in Ashes of Creation? Obviously it's self-explanatory, it's fishing. But to give more detail, fishing is one of the gathering professions in Ashes of Creation and it's not going to be an AFK activity like it is in some MMOs. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not having a dig at AFK fishing or AFK farming. There's many games I play, even hardcore games like Ark where I do a bit of AFK turn and dust with a clicker or bits and bobs when I'm doing the house or real life and I do appreciate stuff like that and farming and basically having it auto farm fish on other MMOs and I really don't mind that but I understand where Ashes comes from they don't really want AFK farming they don't want people just stood around endlessly like not communicating not getting involved not active and this is refreshing to see it means people have to be engaged and have to take part and they have to actively farm and for someone who grinds constantly on hardcore games and shit it doesn't really bother me too much and I can get my downtime AFK breeding or taming or kind of making my crops and stuff on my freeholds or, or within certain places like that in Ashes so it doesn't put me off fishing and I do think it's a good thing they've done here and hopefully it'll help kind of click on who's bottom and they can kind of deal with these situations a little bit better. So the thing is if you do well at fishing in Ashes of Creation it said it's going to be a very lucrative profession so there's going to be a lot of coin a lot of money for you to earn as there are multiple types of fishing in Ashes of Creation it's not just standard one set fishing at a pond and that's it. Not only that but Intrepid in the past have talked about implementing fishing tournaments into the game not only will you be able to obtain fish from fishing in ashes of creation but you're also going to be able to gather treasures from it maybe potentially bps and other things so not only people who want to do the fishing profession people who maybe want to get loot or good bps or other things would definitely want to take part or even competitive guys want to earn a bit of gold or get a reputation for themselves hitting up them tournaments players will need to use fishing poles which is their artisan tool for the profession high level fishing poles can be obtained once a player has progressed through the fishing profession so obviously getting involved farming using it and actually learning xp and leveling you know kind of the standard get going most mmos and then you're going to be using higher to your fishing rod which will enable a player to obtain higher to your fish so obviously level them up learn your skills get involved in stuff should probably take a bit i imagine it's going to be fairly grindy which then will give you access to your better to your rods which obviously you're going to have to craft up or buy or potentially get you know augments and other things for them for certain areas within the world because it's not going to be as basic bitch as some MMOs it's going to have some real complexity to it there's also going to be cosmetics for your fishing poles from both achievements and monthly cosmetic packs that may not only be on the rod but also the real and the bobbers so the little things that are hanging off which to me I think the skins and cosmetic packs you can add to it I can kind of tolerate I'm not a skins guy but it's okay and I, you know if that's what they want to do and that's what's going to be in their ember shop and whatnot that's totally fine it's not pay to win but what i really do like is for the guys who are going at the hardcore end game stuff the achievements really going in it they potentially are going to get these skins that will look on par if not hopefully better and intrepid has said that so to me that's kind of a winner because i want to see the guys i might personally not get involved in this but i don't want to see these guys grinding it out really being competitive and then some guy going in the shop getting a skin it looks 10 times better because they've maybe potentially paid for it or whatnot i don't really like that i don't really like it even if they're using embers i I think it's a bit shitty and it takes away from the guys really going at the end game the guys who are really going hard at the tournaments and doing other things within game the hardcore side they really need to be rewarded so intrepid needs to take that into consideration and make sure these guys aren't getting overshadowed by the guys who've bought the skins and they need to take that into everything else within the profession systems the armors and weapons and whatnot and i think they will do but only time will tell and i'm sure during alpha 2 they'll get the feedback and i'll acknowledge that and we can go forward and see how it plays out it's not a game breaker but to me that is a big part of the game i think people who are going hard really doing stuff should be rewarded visually as well and it shouldn't be overshadowed by guys who are potentially paying to buy the skins and i don't really like that aspect of it now in alpha 2 we saw two types of fishing poles there was the beginner's pole and there was the intermediate pole both could be bought from a vendor within the game and obviously in alpha 2 we're going to see a lot more different variations of poles a lot more crafting and stuff involved but we don't have a lot of information around that now and we definitely don't have the bps or kind of the 
in-game images. Hopefully we'll see something more about that soon or during when we get a naval showcase potentially. On a free older player is going to be able to place a fishery. Now fisheries are going to be farmable areas and they're going to allow players to gather fish. The fish you gather will depend on the blueprint you use to create your fishery. Now I'm not going to expand massively out into free old fishing and other things. What I'll say is I do have a full video covering all of the stuff around free olds. It doesn't really need updated as of now but as more information comes out it probably will but if you check that out now it'll give you a lot of good information and you'll give you an update on kind of how free olds are going and all the stuff around it because it is pretty amazing what they're doing with the house and all free olds are i'm really looking forward to getting involved in that whether you're a pvp or a pv it's going to be great and it's nice to see fishing is going to be heavily involved in that as well now moving on to what types of fishing there's going to be in the game as of now we know there's going to be small game fishing this is what was implemented during Alpha 1. It's a location based and while fishing spots sparkled in Alpha 1, they're not actually going to sparkle when we get the full game or when the full game launches or potentially in Alpha 2. So you could see big changes to that. So what I've talked about with small game fishing, these are potentially going to be at ponds on the coast, kind of what you've seen in other games where you go to a certain area which potentially is going to move around and be changed and you're kind of going to have to word them out for you to look around and use some type of in-game tool to find these locations and you'll kind of just stand there farming and fishing. Probably going to be a lot more safer than some of the other stuff like deep sea fishing then you're going to have the deep sea fishing this is going to be a super high risk high reward type of fishing especially with the open seas now being total pvp fully hardcore people can attack you when and wherever you're always flagged for pvp unless you go right into the coastland there's going to be no corruption for these guys and they can do kind of whatever they want and this type of fishing will feature a mini game and will need equipment to be able to be done such as fishing boats, lures and rods and different qualities and they will reward the player with much more than any other type of fishing. So this is going to get you really good shit. It's going to be awesome. It's probably going to be a teamwork thing where you go out with your entire guild. You're going to have people watching while you're doing it. You're going to have other boats scouting around because people will potentially want to jump you, kill you, take some of your resources and if you farm the shitload and they get a good chunk of percentage of your fishing, people will literally sail around like pirates, sinking everyone and rather than wasting their time fishing, they will farm you for that. That'll be their fishing. Kill the fishermen, steal the loot, get the fuck out there and make a nice hefty bit of loot and a bit of coin from it. There's definitely going to be a lot of tears, a lot of people crying over this and sulking, but you know, it is the game. If you really want to get involved in the PvE when it comes to this, you've got to get involved in the PvP. It's not going to change. If anything, it'll get a little bit more hardcore, so you either have to accept that or move on and not take part in it. Um, but yeah, there's definitely going to be some people uh, not too happy with this. Me personally, and a lot of people I've talked to think it's absolutely fucking brilliant. I'm really happy about it and I can't wait to get involved. Now for the people potentially watching this video that's just died and lost their soul there because they're super PvE and it's kind of really pissed them off. What I will say is this still is a place for people like you or anyone who doesn't really want that hardcoreness of the open sea PvP and losing a lot of stuff. You're going to have coastal and lake fishing. Now it is similar to the first one I spoke about but it's a little bit more chilled. This type of fishing is going to be more relaxed, it's going to allow players to be able to fish in any waters such as rivers, lakes and along the coast of Vera where corruption is enabled and there's going to be a lot less PvP there potentially. But do remember, you still can get ganked so you should be on your guard a little bit but it's going to be a lot more chilled. But due to the relaxed nature of this and the less risk you're going to take, you are going to get lesser rewards so you've got to accept that. Remember this game is risk versus reward and if you're not willing to take the risk and go out there and really go for it, you're not going to get the best but it's nice to see they are catering and if some people are on their own or they've only got a little bit of time and can't be asked with a the hassle they've got this as well and I'll probably take a part of this I'll do some of it see what it's like wait up but I'll really be going for that deep sea fishing and I'll potentially be one of them guys going around killing a few folk and looting them as well as farming myself and chilling with the rest of the guild or the people I'm playing with so the big question is is it worth fishing in Ashes of Creation is it just about fishing and kind of selling your loot or cooking some stuff and kind of that's the be all and end all no no, it definitely isn't. Ashes of Creation fishing is going to affect a lot of things and it's definitely worth taking part in, in my opinion. So fishing ain't just going to be used for cooking in Ashes of Creation. It's going to be used in a number of different professions and can currently be used in stuff like making furniture. So potentially the skins, the gills, the bones. So these can make furniture for your houses, your freeholds and whatnot. So definitely, and if you don't have a house and you're not involved in that, well, I would still be getting involved to sell this stuff for gold, whether it's for PvP, dungeon kit, 
weight or you know just general mounts and whatnot then you've got cloven obviously we're all going to need cloven or craft and stuff craft and cloven potentially and you're going to use that in cloven then you've got costumers you've got potions and of course food recipes that type of things for buffs so fishing is going to be a multi item a multi game purpose tool or, or profession that you can really get deep in get involved in and it really affects a bunch of other things so in my opinion i think you should get involved in fishing i think it would really benefit you but then at the same time i understand there's so many professions there's so many things going into this game like pre-launch pre-alpha 2 for god's sake and then you go post alpha 2 post launch into dlcs will everyone be able to get involved in everything probably but not to the highest scale unless they've got thousands and thousands of hours in the game and this is why i say get a good guild get involved in the community early get to know people so you're not left in the dust and you really know what you're getting in there and you've got some help and it makes that game grind and pvp a little less hard and heavy and folk who maybe don't have that community or guild just yet so yeah i would definitely get involved in fishing i think it's awesome and it's nice to see they're not going afk with it all so to kind of round that up and finish it off you also can fish up treasures while you're fishing however the treasures are not going to be revealed yet so when you're out fishing you can actually get treasures and shit so like you could potentially get really good loot from that as well so there's so many reasons to get involved in this and i think it's really great what they're doing and this is just the base of it i'm looking forward to seeing it all expand out and dlcs and as the years go on the game develop seeing what they get and actually getting into the game getting involved and hopefully we get to see that off too but i am super hyped for the game and i thought i would just give a video covering this and as always i really do appreciate you watching the videos giving the video a like drop them comments it really does help out feel free to join the community if you're looking for a guild we are a bit stricter with recruitment now uh, and we are looking for a set type of person who wants to get involved but as always i really do appreciate you watching the video and i'll catch you in the next one cheers